is Amanda and welcome to this video. Today I thought I would do a fun little haul showing you lots of the little goodies that I've recently bought from Spotlight. I have lots of fabrics and cool little notions and bits and bobs to share with you. So let's start off with something very boring but also very necessary when you're sewing and that is needles. It came to a point where I was quite desperate for new sewing needles. I was sort of sewing on a needle that I'd been using for maybe a month which is not very good so I picked up a packet of these needles that I love using they are just Schmetz Universal and they're size 9014 I use these needles for everything from piecing to quilting to crafting to everything this is just my basic go-to size needle and I find that it works for all types of fabrics all thicknesses and so that's why I love using them the next thing I picked up were these pair of scissors by Fiskars they are their micro tip number five scissors and they were on sale for five I love these scissors. I have another pair in like the greeny bluey type shade and I use these scissors for all of my trimming and I use them for embroidery and I just find that they are so so good for really fine sort of cutting. I find because the tip of the scissors are sort of uh, kind of like bending inwards they're really great for getting really close to the surface of the fabric without cutting it and then snipping off your threads. So when I learned that these were only five dollars I had to pick up an odd pair to just have as a backup I guess because I just I absolutely love these. So before showing you the fabrics that I bought I just have one more bulk type notion thing to show you and that's lots and lots of ribbons. The ribbons that I have to show you are all spools of three meters and they were 70 cents and then there was a sale on top of that which brought them down to like 40 cents each which is like an absolute bargain. So these are the first three that I picked up and they were old Christmas stock and you can never have too many Christmassy type ribbons in your collection. These top two are just shimmery glittery type rig rack ones. We have a green and a silver and this one is just a red chevron jacquard type design. Now all the other ones are from a brand called Makers Gonna Make which I think is like one of the best brand names ever and I also got another two Jacquard Chevroni type ones as well in a navy and a green and then I picked up a whole bunch of gingham type ones because these ones are great to sort of wrap baby quilts in or put on baby cards or to do with my nephews or you know lots of other different fun things and I love a good gingham checkered type design I think they're lots of fun. And the last two that I picked up was one with yellow stars on it and pink and cream stripes. You all know I love a good stripe. So let's now move on to the awesome bit which is the fabric. And the first things that I'm going to show you are the flat fats that I picked up. They're just essentially fat quarters of fabric. Just folded up into like a flat type packaging. This first one is from a range called Tribal Woodlands and it's just like really cool kind of arrows. I just love the dark background of this fabric with the coloured arrows on it. I just think it's lots of fun. And then touching back on the gingham love, I found the yellow and the grey in just a premium type everyday fabric that they sell at Spotlight. And I just liked how they were sort of different sizes so I can use these in anything that I feel would be suitable to use them. So all of the other fabrics that I have to show you are all cut meter meter ridges. That's a really hard word to say. Meter ridges. Meter ridges. So the first one that I have to share with you is one that I actually bought a little while ago and I've just sort of been stashing away to sort of put into a haul video if I ever did one and it's this one and I bought this before Christmas and it was on sale at the time I think for like $10 a meter which is really good for the type of fabric that it is and I actually bought what was left on the bolt because there wasn't very much it's a little over a meter here and this fabric is by Windham Fabrics it's called Echo by Lotta Jens Dotter I'm just reading what it says on the selvage and the pattern is called Little Florine and the design is just these gorgeous little branches with a floral thing up the top and I just really liked it. I love the colour, I love how fresh and modern it is. It is a directional print so I think if I used it it might be like a backing or as like a focal sort of print in a block. I'm not sure yet but it's just one that I'm just going to stash away and use when I feel 
right just like all my other fabrics the next fabric that I have is actually from the same range as the fabric that I used in my first quilt along series that was my geo dreams quilt and I used that beautiful bluey green type geo print this one just like I said is from the same range it's got a little bit of a different color scheme the triangles or the geo sort of print isn't as small as that one this was sort of like the second runner-up fabric that I was going to use for that one but I just felt that the print was just a little bit too big for what I had in mind for it but this range was on sale and I saw this one and I thought yeah let's get it and just use it whenever just like the blue and green geo fabric I really love the colors in this one as well there are some really nice pinks and purples on this side. Again, I'll just add it to the stash and use it when I need to. Next up is just a really basic fabric that Spotlight sells and it's just a white spot on cream background and I love these types of fabrics because to you it kind of looks like a solid but when you get up nice and close you can see that there's a really cool design on it. And usually when I'm buying fabrics like this I get about one and a half to two meters so I know that I have plenty to use if I want to use it in a big project or I have lots to sort of spread out in different projects depending on what I want to make. The next one up is another spotty fabric and it's this one with just a cream background and little red pin spots on it. I really love these sort of dainty type spots because I think they will just go with any type of florals or even a solid and still sort of look kind of cool and I think it's always fine to sort of mix up the different size spot design fabrics that you have in your stash so you always have um, a variety of different things that you can choose from and use when you need to. So the next two fabrics I'm going to put together because they're from the same range and you'll see why. They're sort of mirror opposites of each other. These are from Red Rooster Fabrics and they're from a range called Stomp and it's just got a really cool grid-like type pattern. I don't really have any sort of fabrics like this and as soon as I saw them I thought, well, that's a really good sort of um, adage design to my stash. I do have lots of white and red in my stash so... You know, I really didn't need that, but I really got it for the design. And these were sold in one yard bundles, which is a little bit weird for Spotlight because we do everything here in meters and centimeters. So I don't really know why they did that. But at the time these were on sale, they're usually $9.95 for the yard piece. I bought them each for $4.95. So essentially I got one and got the other one for free. Bargain. The next fabric up is another one of those one yard fabrics that I bought and it's this one by Denise Schmidt and it's from her Hadley range that's what it says on the selvage you all know how much I love Denise Schmidt prints I love everything that she does so as soon as I saw this sort of like right at the bottom of the pile I sort of dug and dug and dug and got it out and said yes it's mine I did look for others but this was the only one I could find which is a bit annoying but that's okay so I'll add that to the rest of my prize DS quilts fabrics and cherish it forever so the last three fabrics that I have to show you are from a range that I've sort of been coveting for ages at Spotlight but it's always just been so expensive to buy until I saw it on clearance and I just knew that I had to get some because it is just so beautiful. I just I love these prints and they're just, oh, they're just so lovely. And they are these ones. They are from a range called Peacock Garden and they are just so magical and lovely and just that's oh, just awesome. Now, of course, these are only three fabrics from the range. There were other ones there, but a lot of them were sort of one directional. And I do find it very hard to use a lot of directional prints in the types of blocks and quilts that I like to make. So I got these ones that weren't as directional in print. And to be honest, these were my favorite prints. So I had to get them. The first one is this one with this beautiful pastel dream goddess-like peacocks on them and they're just they're so pretty i love the geometric forms in it i love the colors i love the spots the tiny little gorgeous little spots in them and i just think they're so pretty and dainty and ladylike and uh just ah uh, love it another one is this one's a little bit more darker in color but it has like the feathery type almost like a lotusy type flower design on it and again i just love the colors and 
just how calming it is. I find this one really calming. I don't know why. I really, really love the Art deco -y type vibe that this whole range has. I mean, the Art Deco period is one of my favourite eras ever. And I just love how this range kind of captures that. And this last one has a really lovely all over type feather design to it. And it also has my favourite colour in the background. This lovely light green duck blue type color and again because this fabric isn't like all in one direction I'll be able to use this anyway I want and anyway I please and for each of these fabrics I bought one meter which is a little bit bigger than a yard which also equates to having four fat quarters of each print and again I just find that buying one meter of each print will just give me the opportunity to sort of space it out in different projects or use it just for one project like there's lots there for me to play with and to feel quite secure in knowing that I have enough to use for anything that I want it for. So that's everything that I have to show you in my Spotlight Fabric Haul. I really wanted to make this video to show a lot of you who don't live in Australia and don't know what Spotlight is like, just the type of fabrics and things that they sell, as well as just the different types of ways that I like to buy fabric, how I like to price fabric, how much fabric I buy when I'm not sort of buying it for a project. Because I've had lots of people ask me about how I buy fabric and when I buy fabric and sort of like what's my routine and what I look out for and all that sort of stuff. I do buy a lot of stuff on clearance because, you know, I'm not made of money. And I really do love a good bargain, especially when it's for stuff that I find that can be sometimes a little bit overpriced. Yeah, that's me speaking as a consumer. <laughs> So before I go, I just want to have a little bit of a chat about my video upload day. As you all know, I usually upload a video on Fridays, but because I've now started my floristry course and that's sort of taking over life a little bit more than I expected, I am now moving my upload day to the weekend. So that will either be a Saturday or a Sunday or even a Monday, depending on what's happening, I guess, but I'm just going to say the weekend. So I sort of have a bit of a breather and I'm not stressed out and you know trying to get a video out on Friday which is my day off. Now in saying that I will have a video out each weekend but if you're lucky I might also put out a midweek video if I am able to so if I do that will go up on a Wednesday or even a Tuesday just depending on how organized I am. <laughs> So I just thought I would let you all know that little change, uh, just in case you're all sort of sitting there on a Friday freaking out that I'm not uploading and that I've given up or something. I haven't. It's just that life's gotten a little bit more crazier now. I'm still just sort of getting into a routine and figuring out what's best for um, my studies and also for you guys because I don't want to let you down and I don't want you to feel that I've forgotten you, which I haven't because you guys are all very, very important to me. So just to condense that whole little ramble down, my new upload day is the weekend and if you're lucky, there will also be a midweek video every now and then, depending on what's happening. And so with that, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye. I knew that I had to download it and print it and just love the heck out of it. And it is the Fat Quarter Shop Pandemonium Quilt. Ooh. I just think that the concept of this mini quilt...